Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Hey everyone, my name is Chief Ogler and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. As you saw what happened in the last episode, and in this one, we're going to go and meet Rose and get our manuscript pages, even though she's acting really weird. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. Hey Randolph. Manager. We're looking for Rose. Works yeah, as a waitress. That's one hell of a tubby Rose. stomach sure. you got there. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. Thanks. That Rose, she's a nice girl. But before you do that, I'm going to look for coffee. Saying, coffee, coffee. <laughs> this is, see this is what he does. He just push his stuff over. I want coffee. Out my way. Mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island <laughs> owned by a guy Just, um, ig ignore the, l the alarm going off. Someone set off the fire alarm again. Searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so we so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with D the island. Barry, would you stop following me? I don't, <laughs> I don't care about any of that. I want coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Fine, there is none. Let's keep going. Yes, yes, come on, Randolph. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Please take me to Rose's trailer. Oh, I've reached checkpoint. Awesome. Whoa. What happened there? Wait, for people living in trailers, they got some decent cars. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on up along. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. That's because it had fallen from the sky. Look at the goo that's on it. What, what is that? <gasps> coffee! Oh, delicious coffee. Mm. I'm going to savour this one. Mm. Wait, what's written on the coffee? Oh, who cares? Coffee! I think it has Oh Dear Diner written on it. It's not far. No, of course it's not far, but I saw coffee. <clears throat> Can't be not far. What the... Which one? What? This one? No, that's a burger place. So, where? Uh, yeah. Where does she live? Oh, it has to be the most out of the way one, doesn't it? Yay. Oh, come on. It gets better. A local oh. girl, Barbara Jagger. Drowned in Cauldron Lake. What are you Still doing over there, Barry? This is no time to be going for the toilet. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh, you mean the one that was uh, always interested in lights? A loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, what anyway, are you doing? She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both what? died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay. We. Hmm. No more coffee or manuscript pages. Oh, that's why we had to walk around. All oh, right. Okay. So we're the other side of the boat. I was like, why are we taking the back route? Are we there yet? Well, mister, oh, thank you. Trailer. 
You mind me asking what you want with her? <clears throat> We're just here to talk to her, pal. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes well I'm here to talk to her Barry just wants to gawk over her out the way Barry it's bad enough that you went for a wee in those bushes welcome to to oh dear Mr. Wake I'm I'm so glad you're here oh dear you have my manuscript? Oh. how could you Oh yes. Right. How could yes. you not tell something's wrong with this Please lady? Come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Al. Al, what's? Oh. oh, that must be some really good coffee. What? They've been drugged. Awesome. What? Oh, come on, Alan. I think you've banged your head enough now. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I will turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. She is creepy. I insist. And I insist you that you're creepy. Turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work. Oh great, it's night time. Guess they needed an excuse why it was gonna be night time again. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Um, she I don't think she's imaginary. Save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I think I'm getting close to being disturbed. What's going on? Come on. Rose hey, Barry. Me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. Coffee. All I do was get Barry coffee, the coffee, 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 coffee. Mmm, delicious Welcome coffee. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Oh, Rose. What can I get you today? Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Oh, that poor Rose girl. Hey, Barry. Sweet. Barry, we need to go. Fine. <laughs> Would you like to hear today's special? Thank you. I like to My gun Ooh. and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as oh, possible. Oh, for the so love of God. What is it with losing your gun and flashlight? Every time. Alright, let's go. It's just like the start of every chapter. Let's just make sure he's gunless when we start chapters. Oh, radio. No way. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't. It really takes a turn like what? It looks like a beautiful night. Well, as beautiful as a night could be, surrounded by complete evil. But hey, it's a good night. Anyway, let's get back to the car. Hmm. Oh dear, I don't like the look of this. What? God oh. knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. <laughs> Hemingway. Oh God, we've got another guy that just just keeps shouting writers' names. Oh. Oh, hello. Matrix style. What did 
Alan turn into the one? About five minutes ago, by the looks of things. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Yay. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was right. no way I'd miss my appointment with okay. the kidnapper. So which way do I go? Oh, right, this way. Of course. Escape the police. So what, are they just going to shoot me? Like in like GTA games where they don't capture you or arrest you, they just shoot you. Then take you to a hospital to be revived. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. Well, at least with all these police around, the darkness shouldn't attack me. Oh, come on, Alan. Okay, so they were shooting at me five minutes ago, but not now. Makes sense. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You're not supposed to shoot the suspect. Not unless they're taser rounds. Come on, Alan. You can do it. You can do this. You can do this. There we go. Somehow, I have this feeling that I'm just going to miraculously get a gun and a flashlight soon. <gasps> Manuscript page. Right, well, at least I lost him. Oh, God. I see darkness. This isn't good. See? What did I say? Somehow I'd miraculously get what I needed. Oh, I was hoping there was something in there. Alright, what's back here? <laughs> Manuscript page. See, if Alan was smart, he'd have always, like, everywhere he went, carried, like, 50 flashlights with him. Just surrounded his body in them. Yes, you be on your way. I've got a police car that just fell on my face. Right. Well, at least we reached two checkpoints at once. Right, okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. The darkness is having an effect on these people. Oh, here we go again. 